this series on how I write, format, and self-publish my Kindle eBooks. In step number three of this process, make sure all important sections, chapters, and images in your eBook start with a new page using the Control Enter Quickie command. You know, formatting an eBook is really quite simple, so long as you follow a few simple rules, such as making sure all new chapters, section titles, and images all start on a new page. Now, let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about inside this Microsoft Word document file for an ebook that I wrote. Then, I'll show you this same ebook inside a Google Doc. And then, I'll show you this same ebook inside the Kindle ebook online previewer to show you how good it looks when you can start these sections, images, parts, chapters with a new page. Come on, let me show you what that's like. So, here we are inside one of my Kindle ebooks. Where are you and where art thou in Microsoft Word? Let's look through this ebook and I'll show you what I mean by starting new chapters, parts, section titles, and images in some cases on their own page. You can see right here, rave reviews. This is kind of like a title for a section starting on its own page. I'll scroll down and here's copyright notice, disclaimer, table of contents. All of these are starting at the top of their own page. This is good. Scrolling down, you can see the table of contents just flows from page to page to page, but then it's over. And I don't want the message from the author to appear right here, you know, and I'm not going to hit this enter key, you know, enter, 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 just to push this down to the next page. No, that does not cut it. No. I literally need to use the control plus enter key to put that exactly on its own new page. That is beautiful. That is what we want. Let's scroll down here. Problems with dating and relationships. Again, if I were to bring this back to this page, I do not want to hit the enter key just to push this to the top of the page. No, that doesn't count. I literally want to hit control enter and it goes right to the next page. Control enter is your most magical, friendly, quickie command when designing ebooks. Let's scroll through and you can see all this text. It just flows and flows and flows. You don't want your sections crammed up against each other in one big long flowing text of text. No, you want sections to kind of start on their own page. And again, I could bring this back, okay? And you would think that, oh, I'll just enter, you know, press the enter key, enter, 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 until it's on its own page. No, that does not cut it. Let's go back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control Enter, and it forces it to be on its own page. I'm going to do that with every section in this book. There's one. Here's another one, my goals for you. Here's another one, personal disclaimer and relationship status. These are all sections that I want to start on their own page. When the section is over, I do want a little bit of a gap, a white gap here. That's fine. Same here. Warning, you need to hear this. Here's the gap. You know that it ended, and here's the new section starting on a new page. The part one, where are you? This is the beginning of a new, like the first chapter or the first part of your ebook right here. And then I start part 1.1 on its own new page, and here's the text for that section. Same with where are you in your search for love. And I just go through, and I want each section to start on its own page. Let me show you this same ebook in a Google Doc. So here we are inside the Google Doc of Where Are You and Where Art Thou? And I'm just going to scroll through this Google Doc and you will see the same sections on their own page. Rave reviews. Here's a bunch of white area. It's okay. Copyright notice starts on its own page. Disclaimer starts on its own page. And these sections are just so small, I just put them on the same, you know, connected to the same page. No big deal. But then they end. Big white gap. Table of contents starts on its own page. Scroll through, you'll see all this text. It flows and flows. Yada, yada, yada. And then it finally comes to a small end. I have message from the author starting on its own page. I have, oh, here's one right here. Problems with dating and relationships. Why don't we put this on its own page? Control plus enter. There you go. Control plus enter also works in a Google Doc as a quickie command. Pretty cool. And again, you see all this text? It just flows and flows, and they're reading, and they're enjoying, they're learning. 
Well, when the next section begins, just don't cram it right up underneath this section here. And you'll see in a minute that this is about to end, and here's a section right here. We literally could control enter, bam, starts on its own page. Here's another one, starts on its own page. Control plus enter. Scrolling down, I think you get the idea. You know what we want to do? Let's go take a look at the same ebook inside a Kindle ebook online previewer inside your KDP account, and I'll show you again how great it looks for the reader. And that's what we want. Come on, let's go check that out right now. So here we are inside the online previewer of your Kindle ebook inside your KDP account. Because after you upload your manuscript and your cover for your ebook, they're going to want you to preview it online in the previewer to look for mistakes. So here we are looking at it right now. Let's proceed to like oh, a new section. You knew that Rave Reviews was its own section. So it's nice that it starts at the top of the page or the top of the ebook reader, you know, a phone, a tablet. And I'm just going to peruse through here and check this out. This section is over. You can tell, ah, the section is over. We're going to go to a new section in the ebook. Copyright notice. Okay, great. Disclaimer, acknowledgements, dedication. And then the section ends. And you know that a new section begins. Table of contents. Great. Let's keep clicking through here. And you can tell the table of contents just flows and flows, continues and flows, you know, because we know that. Come on, keep going. And now it ends. Here's a big white gap. Ah, it gives the reader a break. Here's message from the author. Starts on its new page. Just clicking through here, it flows and then it ends. Ah, nice. Do you get this? Does it make sense? We want sections, chapters, parts, anything like that to start at the top of the page and we want them to end in a manner that gives the reader an idea that that section is over with and they should be prepared for a new section of information within your Kindle ebook. Mm. Again, the information just flows and here it is. Look at this. Who is this ebook for? On its own page. Great. How to get the most out of this book? Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six ways to get the most out of this ebook. Seven, eight, nine. It flows and then 10. It's over. White space. Next section, my goals for you, etc., etc. Mm, gotta love it. Now, do this throughout the whole ebook manuscript, and you'll make sure your ebook displays quite nicely to the reader and on any ebook reading device. Remember, Control plus Enter is your magic quick key command when it comes to starting important sections, chapters, parts, and even displaying images on their own new page within your ebook manuscript. Now, Let's check out the next video tutorial in this series where I talk about inserting images into your Kindle ebook. Come on, let's check it out.